So this video is going to be about the stages of translation. So we'll start with initiation. So first we need to know what our start codon is. So our start codon is going to be AUG which is going to tell us that we need to start translation at this particular spot. So once we found that, the small ribosomal subunit will bind to the 5' end of the mRNA and then the initiator tRNA will come in and bind to the start codon. So the first amino acid is always methionine. And so this initiator tRNA is always going to be carrying methionine. So after we have the initiator tRNA bound to the start codon, we'll have our large ribosomal subunit come in and bind to the small subunit and then we'll have several initiation factors that are going to help complete this initiation complex. So once this large ribosomal subunit attaches, the initiator tRNA is always going to be in this P site. So I talked about this briefly in the last video, the first amino acid with, uh, attached to this first tRNA is always going to be in the P site, and then every subsequent um, uh, tRNA is going to come into the A site first. So this assembly process is going to require the expenditure of a GTP molecule and the uh, energy released by the hydrolysis of GTP is what is used to drive the uh, assembly of the initiation complex. So moving on to elongation. So new amino acids are going to be added one by one to the polypeptide chain at the C terminus. So the C terminus is going to be the end of the amino acid that has the free carboxyl group um, which we uh, learned briefly about in the video on protein structures. So the incoming aminoacyl tRNA is going to pair with the mRNA, so the anticodon will base pair with the codon in the A site right here. So once that happens, we need to hydrolyze a molecule of GTP, and then we're going to form this peptide bond between the amino acid on the tRNA in the A site and the amino acid on the tRNA in the P site. And so now the polypeptide uh, chain has been moved from the tRNA in the P site to the tRNA in the A site, which we can see in this image right here. And so now what's going to happen is we're going to have translocation. So the entire ribosome is going to move down the mRNA by one codon. So now there's a new codon in this A site and the next tRNA can come in. And this translocation process requires the hydrolysis of a molecule of GTP. So if you'll notice, the tRNA that was in the A site is now in the P site. The tRNA that was in the P site is now in the E site. And it will exit the ribosome from that E site um, and go back into the cytoplasm to be reloaded with another amino acid. So lastly, we have termination. So stop codon is going to reach the A site. So that's going to be right here. And our stop codons are either UAG, UAA, or UGA. So the way I remember this, it's kind of silly, but it helps a lot, is you can remember the stop codons by remembering um, you are annoying, you go away, you are gone. And so that's how I remembered them, and it helped a lot. So once again, that's you are annoying, you go away, you are gone. If you remember that, then you're going to remember all your stop codons and you're not going to forget them. So after we have this stop codon in the A site, we're going to have a release factor that's going to come in and bind to that codon. So the release factor is a protein that's shaped like a tRNA that will then bind to this stop codon. And so next we'll have a water molecule that's going to come in um, and it's going to release the polypeptide chain from the tRNA that's in the P site. And after that's done, this free polypeptide chain is free to leave the ribosome and go into the cytoplasm, and then the ribosomal complex is going to uh, disassemble along with the hydrolysis of some GTP to provide the energy for this disassembly. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute appointment or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu tutoring.